All right, so what I want to do now is go over some examples of pure and mixed states and extract the purity of the states. But uh, we're going to be using Qiskit now. Qiskit has this quantum information uh, package that uh, has a function, a purity function, that would just calculate it for us. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to imp import uh, NumPy as MP. Uh, and then from Qiskit, import quantum circuit, and then import uh, Qiskit quantum info as QI. Okay, so let's first look at um, a two qubit example where we have uh, an equal superposition of all possible states, right? So we can create a quantum circuit um, of Two qubits, and we just need to apply a Hadamard gate to both both qubits, right? We can draw that that circuit here, okay? And then we can uh, look at the output state vector. Let's call it uh, psi sub h h for Hadamard. I don't know uh, qi state vector, right? Um, and then just pass that quantum circuit. And let's just now display this, and then we can see here that this circuit generates an equal superposition of all possible eigenstates, right? So uh, we can now generate our density matrix, let's call it rho sub h, uh, using this density matrix class, right? Density matrix, and then just pass that state vector, psi h. Uh, by the way, we can also pass the quantum circuit here um, we, we could have bypassed the, this part where we create the state vector. I just wanted to show that we have this equal superposition of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Um, But then, you know, as, um, as we display this, we can see that we get a, a matrix with all elements equal to 1 over 4. So since this is a pure state, we should expect that the that the purity will be equal to one, right? So we can use from the quantum info package, this purity function and just pass this uh, density matrix rho H. And here we will see that uh, we get, well, it's almost one. There's some rounding error, but you can see it's 0.999. So it should be just equal to one, right? So that, that's what we expected. Now let's generate uh, a completely mixed state for, for two qubits and that will be you know, uh, um, a mixture of the states 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, with equal probability of occurrence, but not a state in superposition, right? Just, just randomly we're getting out uh, one of these four possible states with equal probability. And we can do this by using the density matrix uh, class in the following way. So, so let's define our um, density matrix uh, let's call it rho sub c for a completely mixed state. And we know that we're going to have each state with probability of occurrence of 1 over 4. And we're going to use this density matrix class. And let's use this from label method. And then we pass here, well, you know, with, with one core probability, we'll get state 0, 0. And then here, plus with one quarter probability, we get state 0. 0, 1, and then with quarter probability, we get state 1, 0. So let's do here plus, plus. And then with uh, the remaining uh, one quarter probability, we get state 1, 1, right? So this is going to generate that density matrix for that uh, completely mixed state. And if we display that, we get this diagonal matrix with um, all diagonal terms with equal probability. And now if we find the purity of that state, um, we get uh, one quarter, so 0.25, which as expected for two qubits is one over two to the two, which is a quarter, right? So this is the lowest value we can get for the purity of this two qubit system. Now let's, let's look at a, um, an example where, you know, let's say that we start with this coherent state right, of, of two qubits in equal superposition. Uh, but for some reason, these two qubits start decohering. So the off diagonal terms start going from this value of one quarter 
down to zero exponentially, but let's say that they're not quite um, down down at zero, but they're somewhere in between. So let's say they're at a one over eight or something like that, right? So we can define our density matrix by um, first creating a NumPy array. So let's call it, you know, elements of the matrix. And let's say they're going to be all equal to one over eight. And then we can use NumPy once to create a four by four matrix. And then let's replace the diagonal elements with um, with one over four. So uh, one over four is, is going to be uh, this diagonal with our probabilities of occurrence. And then the remaining elements, the off diagonal terms are going to be one over eight. And then we can just pass this, let's call it um, our density matrix uh, row mixed one, let's call it. Uh, and we can do QI density matrix of this elements. And let's just display this. And here uh, we have that, that matrix with diagonal elements of one over four and then of diagonal one over eight. So if we now check the purity of this state, well, it, it should be somewhere in between one and well, a quarter and, and one, right? Uh, and if we do that, so we get uh, 0.4375, which is obviously in between uh, those those two numbers. And you know, if we if we were to do this for uh, a slightly smaller number as we approach uh, this off diagonal terms uh, to zero, then they're going to be closer and closer to this value of of a quarter, right? So let's do here. Let's call this QM2, and let's let's make this one over sixteen, for example. Um, and then let's just get the purity for that one. And we see that it's now uh, even closer to 0.25 or, or a quarter, right? Now let's look at um, another two qubit example. Let's say we want to generate, generate a Bell state. So, you know, let's define a circuit, quantum circuit with two qubits, right? And we're gonna apply a Hadamard gate and then a CX gate between qubit zero, and, uh, between qubit one and zero. Now let's draw that circuit. Um, we get, uh, you know, the, the conventional circuit to generate um, a Bell state. And if both of the inputs are initialized at zero, we will get the state, um, it's usually called phi plus. Uh, and let's, let's show the state vector for that. Um, so let's just display the state vector and we get, you know, equal superposition of state zero, zero and state one, one, right? So um, again, we can generate the density matrix. Let's call it um, rho sub p uh, just by passing um, either, you know, the state vector we define or even the quantum circuit um, should give us the same result, right? So so if we look at that, we get this this matrix where we have uh, diagonal terms for the state zero zero of one half and for the state one one of one half but we also have this uh, off diagonal terms right because this is a pure state and you know the expectation is that uh, our purity should be equal to one right for for any pure state we should always get purity equal to one so if we do that we get here 0.999 with, with some uh, this is one just with some uh, computational error right so, so here we have another example of a pure state that doesn't have, you know, all diagonal elements present, um, but, but it's still pure, right? Now, what about um, a mixed state of, of a state like this one, but with the off diagonal terms equal to zero? So, um, you know, that, that is um, a state where we have a, a mixture of getting the state zero zero or the state one one but if we have no off diagonal terms that means that there's no quantumness to it right it's not in a superposition it's just uh, equally likely to get state zero zero or equally likely to get state one one so let's define that and let's call it you know row um, m3 and we can do that like we did above uh, we we just use this qi density matrix class and we can use this from from label uh, method for zero zero plus we can just copy and paste this for one one um, 
one, one. And then if we display that, that matrix here, we get uh, suspected, um, no off diagonal terms, and then equally likely to get zero, zero, one, one. So what's the purity of this state? Well, it's definitely not a pure state, right? It's, it's a mixed state. There's no, no um, off diagonal elements. But if we, if we take a look at that, we see that the purity is one half. So it's actually, if, if you recall, for the um, example where we had the, the completely mixed state, where we had each of the diagonal elements equal to a quarter, that purity is, um, is a quarter. So how come this is giving us a higher purity? Does this mean that the state is more pure? Well, not necessarily, at least not in the computational basis, right? So, so this is not um, more pure. It doesn't have more, it doesn't have a quantum component to it, but it is a less mixed state than the, the, the state we had above. Let's, let's write it down here again, uh, just to remind you the one where um, we have all diagonal elements present. Um, well, here we have an equal likelihood of getting all possible eigenstates, right? So it's, it's, it's as mixed as it can be. In this case, well, state zero one and state one zero have no likelihood of occurring. So you can say this state is, is biased towards the state zero zero and the state one one. So it's not as mixed as this one. And that, that's why the purity of, of this row M3 is higher than the purity of this rho sub c, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's uh, a pure state or that it has some off diagonal components that will give, give it some level of uh, superposition to the state. So, so sometimes this term purity can be a little bit counterintuitive because it might make you think that because the, the number is higher, uh, this would have some quantum component in this particular basis. So, so I thought that was an interesting example. I hope you, you found that interesting too.